<laughs> Here we go again. All right, back with yes, another one. Um, I think I'm nearing the end of my 9 and 45 pairs. But Mr. 945, coming back at y'all again with another one. The 9 and the 45. And y'all already know what these are. Gen 4, both Glock 19 and Glock 21. I actually forgot whether or not I had to go back through all my videos to see if I did a, a video on these. But um, y'all know I love Smith and Wesson and, you know, um, actually, I love all different manufacturers, but my favorite is Smith and Wesson. And, you know, wanted to, to share, though, my Glock 19 and, and Glock 21 Glock 19. You basically got either this or a 17. You got to have one. So. Regardless of how I feel holistically about Glock, I had to get a 19. Um, I have some PCCs that run Glock mags. Had to get a 19. And, you know, I love 45, so had to get a 45 as well, which is the Glock 21. Um, if you've seen my previous videos, you already know I have the Glock 26 and the Glock 30. So had to get the big brothers to those. I um, actually had these first and then got the other ones. But go figure, there's nothing that I can say about these firearms that you all do not already know. So I, I, I won't. I'll, I'll kind of go through, you know, I got the the uh, extended mag on there. I got the, you know, I, I chose the back strap that has the beaver tail because, yeah, Glock give you a slide bite like a mark. But, you know, I'm, you know, we are clear. Um as far as the trigger, I don't know everybody, you know, really kind of, you know, hates on the Glock trigger. It's fine by me. I mean, it is what it is. Um, sights, same thing it is what it is. Same thing with the 45. But I, I actually really like both of these. Um, the grip angle is a little bit, you know, eh. I like the Smith and Wesson, Wesson a little bit better, but these are not bad. The finger grooves, you know, they're not bad. So... But that's, that's again, I, I don't know what more I can say about a Glock 19 or a Glock 21. Now, I have been back and forth between getting a 19X um, or a Glock 45 uh, MOS. Um, I really wish they made a Glock 19X MOS. That would be dope. Um, yeah, if they came out with that, that's probably something that they will come out with in the, in the future. But who knows? Glock doesn't do a lot of great innovation when they go from gen three to four to five or whatever so who knows but um all in all again one of the most trusted names in firearms is glock you know but again a lot as far as what other manufacturers do i, I think they've taken what glock has done and have improved upon it um but again you know glock perfection sure you know it is what it is but um yeah, just wanted to share these with you guys. Again, there's not anything that I can tell you about these Glocks that you do not already know, so I won't bore you with any talking through any specs. I don't do that. What is it used for? It's a handgun. Use it for whatever you know you think a handgun would be used for. Trigger capacity, everybody knows all about that stuff. So um, you know, even the value of Glocks is pretty standard. So it is what it is. But yeah, if uh let me see. I have to see what other 945 pairs do I have in my collection. I have to go through the safe and see. I think I've talked through them all. Um, it may be time to go to the long guns. Who knows? But outside of that, we're going to keep it short. Keep staying safe. Keep practicing. And I will see you all on the next one. Mr. 945, out.